how do we fix the chicken wing, or what do we want to happen? What we want to happen is we want those arms to rotate and we want them to release. Hey, everybody loves chicken wings, but when it comes to golf, the chicken wing is going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. Today I'm going to show you how to fix that dreaded chicken wing and add some club head speed to all of your shots. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and today I am here at the beautiful Lone Tree Golf Club in the Phoenix area. This place is fantastic and the staff is awesome, so if you're in the area, you got to check this place out. And today though, we're kind of having some fun, right? We're talking about chicken wings, and I made a little joke there earlier talking about we all love chicken wings, I love chicken wings as much as anybody, but when it comes to golf, the chicken wing right here, this is the chicken wing. We've all seen it, you might have seen it. It is disastrous when it comes to golf. Now how might you know if you're doing that in your golf swing? Well, a couple ways. Number one is you probably lack club head speed. All right, you probably slice the golf ball. And also for my older golfers, you know who you are out there, my experienced golfers, you might have some tension or some soreness in your lead arm, your elbow, your forearm, all right? I'm gonna tell you why that is as we go through the process. So we're gonna fix the chicken wing, we know what it is, okay, we know what might be some signs that we have, it. but let's talk about how to fix it. So let me go ahead and hit a shot here, let me go ahead and hit a shot where we actually have the chicken wing. I want you to watch my lead arm, and I'm gonna tell you what the ball does. So here we go, good setup. Got a little bit of lead weight, a weight on my lead foot. You know that if you watch any of our videos here at US Golf TV, we like a little bit of 60% of the lead foot. Now as I come through, see the finish. See how my elbows are apart, okay? That ball was relatively solid, but it was definitely high and to the right. Now, how do we fix the chicken wing, or what do we want to happen? What we want to happen is we want those arms to rotate and we want them to release. See this motion here? This is a good motion. All right, this would be your bad motion. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit a good one, and then I'm gonna show you some drills you can do and some ways we can fix that. So here we go. All right, now that ball was definitely more solid up in the air and it actually had some, some draw to it. So the first tip that I'll give you if you feel like you're actually hitting a high right shot or you got the chicken wing going, is just, I got my Titleist glove on here, right? And I'm just gonna just rotate the Titleist logo towards the ground, see that? Simple, right? Very easy. I do a couple of those, grab a ball, let's let, me, let me hit a shot, I'm just gonna replicate that feel. There it is, right? Because you know, if you've watched any of our stuff here at US Golf TV, I, hey, I hope you have subscribed. If you haven't, do that for me, right? And ring that bell so you know when we get new videos that are coming out, and leave a comment. I love hearing from you. I love hearing where you're from, you got questions, and we do our best to answer all those. We're really building a tribe here people of, of golf who love the game, and we're here to help you out at US Golf TV, so be sure to do that. So, just simply, you know, like my tips, we don't need to be complicated with the golf swing, but just this little motion right here can help you do that. Now, another way you can do it, it's kind of fun, I'll take a golf ball, I'll do this with some of my students who really struggle with this, I'll have them take a golf ball, and I'll have them just literally like toss it, okay? Because sometimes when you put, when you put something in your hand, and you, then you do the motion, it, it reinforces it. So the first level would be just this, right? Okay. Second level would be doing it with the ball. Boom, and just, just tossing it. And that little extra weight of the ball will help you get that feel, all right? Now, what's another way that we could practice the chicken wing, okay? And I'm gonna show you one simple thing you can do on the backswing that might actually be causing it. Now, the other way you can feel that is that as you come through, I want you to feel like your elbows kind of squeeze. See how my elbows stay closer? So I almost kind of feel like they squeeze together, okay? Versus separating, right? That's what we don't want, right? So I want them to squeeze and rotate. Boom, okay, here we go, a couple of those. All right, let me go ahead and hit a shot. There it is, more speed. More, definitely more speed. Now, how might we tie those two, those two thought processes and those, those ideas together in a simple form? You know me, I love to keep the game simple. So, let's do our continuation drill. We've used this drill for tempo, timing, you name it, we use this all the time. So, three motions, right? One, two, three. See how I did that? Slow, rhythmic, but most importantly, continuous, because when the club is in continuous motion, right, left, 
right, left, right, left, it naturally wants to rotate and go the way that it should. You would never instinctively chicken wing doing that because it would look like this, right, left, like, I mean, I've never had anybody ever do that because it's just awkward. So let's go back and do it again. Here we go. Rotating the logo down. Elbows feel like they're staying close together, but we tie it together in continuous motion. Left, right, left, right, left. Now I got the feel. Arms are relaxed. Let's hit a shot. There it is. Wow. Man, that felt good. Good speed to it. Ball up in the air. A nice little baby drop. Now, you might be asking yourself, what could be causing the chicken wing? We know what it is. Got some feels to fix it, but what could be causing it? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with actually not proper weight shift, pressure shift. I'm a big believer in that. You know me, like start a little lead, move to the trail, and then move to the front. A lot of people who chicken wing on the downswing, they keep their weight on their back foot. Okay, that caused them to swing out and across and then they chicken wing it. Looks something like this. Watch it from down the line. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna keep my weight on my back foot. And as I keep my weight on my back foot, that caused the club to go out and across and then therefore I chicken wing to try to fix that. So my weight stays back, club goes out and if I release it, it's going way left. So I chicken wing it to try to get it back into the center of the fair, it looks like that. So how do you fix that? Well, this time we're gonna take the first drill that we just learned, the little right left continuous one and we're gonna add some weight shift to it. So here we go. So we're gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left. But as I'm doing that, watch my feet. As I go right, heel comes up. As I go left, heel comes up. That will help me get the weight shift. So it's right, left, right, left, right, left. Let's step up, we got the feel. Let's hit a shot. There it is, speed, high, draw. So. You want to fix a chicken wing? I like chicken wings, but I don't like them on the golf course. These little tips right here are going to help you do just that.